Welcome to Easy Moto Tim, where I share tips to enhance your motorcycle travel experience. Today's topic deals with adding custom waypoints in Basecamp. One of Basecamp's handy features gives you the ability to import collections of waypoints or points of interest, abbreviated POIs. Let's say you'd like to store all the rest area locations in the U.S. You can download a POI file with all those locations and import the file into Basecamp. You can find lots of POI files at POIFactory.com. I'll walk you through downloading a file and importing it into Basecamp. Here we are on the home page of POI-Factory.com. You have to create an account and log in in order to download files from POI Factory. I've logged in. Here's the home page. Now we'll click on the tab POI Files and you see that there are lots of categories for the POI files. For our example, I'm going to click on Airports and Aviation. That's the first one. And the first one is National Car Rental Return Locations. Here we see that the files are available in GPX format or in CSV format. Basecamp only works with GPX files, so we'll download the GPX file. After that, We'll go over to our My Garmin folder and create a folder to hold our POIs. I've called it POI Factory. And in there, I've created two folders for our examples. I, I put one folder for each POI file. And I've transferred the file, the National Car Return file, from my Downloads folder to this folder. Now we'll go over to Basecamp and I've created a folder for my custom waypoints. I'm going to right click on that and add a new list and call it National Car Return. Then with that highlighted I'll click on File import into National Car Return, navigate to my folder where the GPX file is, click on that, open it. As you can see, down below in the list contents, we have National Car Return waypoints. You can see them on the map. And down below, in the filter section, you see there are 64 items in the list, and 64 of them are waypoints. Now we can either double click to, or right click open to open up the detail page of these waypoints. And click the down arrow beside the symbol, and we can change the symbol to any of the uh, custom symbols that are here. I'm going to pick the one for the car, car rental, and close that. Now you don't have to change these symbols one at a time. You can select one, then Control A to, collect, to select all of them, right click, open, click the down arrow for the symbol, uh, click the car, and in a few seconds, all of the waypoints will have that car symbol. Now I'm going back to POI Factory, and I'm going to POI Files. And in this second example, we're going to download a collection of points that are in CSV format. On the POI Files tab, I'm going to click Search for POI files, and I'm going to enter National, if I can spell it, 
parks and search. And down here, the third one is National Parks, Monuments, Preserves, and Historic Sites. Here we see from the buttons that it's available in CSV format and in the TomTom Tom OV2 format. Now Basecamp doesn't work with CSV files, so we have to download the file and then change it to a GPX. So I'm going to click on the button for CSV and download it. I'll transfer it to my POI factory folder for National Parks. Here it is in CSV format. Now I'm going to use this spreadsheet program as in the first step of converting the file to be converted to GPX. I use LibreOffice, but you can use Excel or Google Sheets or any other spreadsheet program. I'm going to File, Open, and select the National Parks Plus CSV file. Then click Open. There's a dialog to uh, tell the spreadsheet program how to interpret the CSV file. The defaults work for me. I'm going to say OK. Now here we see three columns. We have longitude, latitude, and a description. In order to convert this to GPX using the GPS Visualizer website, we have to insert a header row at the top. So I'm going to click on the first row and go to the uh, rows and insert row above. And then I'm going to enter longitude and latitude and name. And then I'm going to file Save As National Parks Plus and uh, Plus Header so I can tell the difference between the two. Now I'm going to go to the GPS Visualizer website. That's gpsvisualizer.com. This is the home page. Over here, I'm going to co select Convert to GPX. That brings up a different page. I'm going to enter the Browse for the file in my Garmin, POI Factory, National Parks, National Parks Plus Header CSV, and open that. Now we want GPX format, so we, we click the GPX, then we convert. If you make a mistake, you'll get an error page, so you can go back and fix your uh, error and do it again. But we were successful, and here's the file to download. And I'm going to save it. Now that is in my downloads folder. And I'll move it to the POI Factory National Parks Pass uh, folder. All right, here's the file, the GPX file in my National Parks folder. I'm going to rename it to National Parks Plus just to uh, match the naming. It can be anything, but we'll recognize what it is. I'm going to go back into Basecamp 
click on custom waypoints folder add right click a new list for national parks then I'm going to file import into national parks go to my national parks folder and insert the national parks plus GPX file and there you have all of those national parks alright I've switched to the global map to show you uh, something about this file notice that there's a waypoint in the middle of Siberia so I'm going to click on that it's the Denali Park headquarters in Alaska then I'll double click open and you see in the detail that it's at east 148 degrees so it should have been west we'll change that E to a W and close it then we'll show on map and it's moved out of uh, Siberia and into Alaska where it should be now I used the global map just so you could see where these are the City Navigator North America map only covers that area and there are national parks and monuments um, out in the Pacific which uh, do not show on the City Navigator map we can see in the filter row we have 965 waypoints and just as we did with the National Car Return waypoints we can select them all with control A and right click open and we can change the symbol the single tree is a park now it will do all 965 but it takes a few minutes just be patient eventually it will finish okay that took several minutes and we can close the detail page and we see that all of the waypoints have the pine tree as their symbol there you have it importing custom waypoints into Basecamp you may be wondering if you can copy these waypoints to your GPS the answer is yes and no with Basecamp you can export any waypoint to the internal storage of the device and it will appear in your favorites at least it does on my Zumo 665 for the waypoints we imported to appear in the custom POI section of the device you need to use Garmin's POI loader we'll cover that in a later video in the next video we'll cover how to import custom waypoint symbols to use with our custom waypoints thanks for watching I hope you found this video helpful if you want to support this channel you can buy me a cup of coffee at buymeacoffee.com or go to the Amazon pages on my website where I have affiliate links to products I use the link is in the description in any case I appreciate your support and all the positive comments I'll see you in the next video